Welcome back. We are back at eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metal market. It is Friday and the trading week is basically over. And Fridays, I'll do a basically recap of basically what happened in this week and where I think the market will go uh, next week from here. So if you want to support this channel, you're welcome to subscribe and uh, hit the like button and the bell button. Um, and uh, yes, we'll start out by looking at the uh, WTI oil. And as you can see, we basically rallied quite nicely in the, in the early in the trading session. And then we gave most of those gains uh, back. And at the moment, we are right on the edge of the 200 moving average. And at this point, I do believe we'll go and retest the 50 moving average before we continue downwards. There's no reason for this market to continue uh, upwards it has basically been um, hanging around all week at the 200 moving average uh, which is quite resistant and we have the 50 moving average right above and that is even more resistant as we saw only a few trading sessions ago we tried it three times we got heavily rejected now we're trying to go back to the 200 moving average we were also reject uh, got rejected here uh, so both of these moving averages are uh, significant resistant at the moment. Um, and there is not enough momentum, in my view, for this market to go much higher than the 50 moving average, which is at the moment at the 41.10. Um, the, on the daily chart, the technical indicators are quite bullish at this point. Uh, the MACD is above the signal line indicating that we will go higher. The same goes for the stochastic, it's a push momentum, and we're not oversold, not overbought. So we may have a see on Monday or on Tuesday um, retesting of the 50 moving average. And I am guessing that we'll, be, we'll basically be rejected at the 50 moving average. Uh, if we were to be rejected, then that basically means that we have a double a top here, and that is a very very shine. I do as I do expect this market to go significantly lower. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, I do think that we will first of all retest these lows that we did only a few weeks ago. If that breaks, we'll go to uh, $35. Then we will test these uh, Fibonacci retracements at 30 and maybe 25 and all the way down to $21. Uh, the world economy is in shambles at the moment both in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, everything is basically pointing to uh, worst economic, uh, worsening economic conditions. Um, and there is still no cure for the coronavirus, so that is still also a problem. So we'll mostly have a small rally to the 50 moving average. From there, I do expect this market to go much lower. Uh, I don't expect this market to go higher. Definitely not a buyer in in this market so we look at natural gas so natural gas had a massive uh, um, um, increase on this was on Wednesday session it rose I think it was around five six percent and then it continued on Thursday session and today we went a little bit higher than Thursday session and then it got rejected and um, at this point, we may go a little bit further down and then continue upwards. We are quite overstretched. This was uh, basically a bullish flag and, uh, and we basically broke to the upside. But every single time you have an increase of 6-7%, you should expect uh, a little bit of a pullback because it, it, that technically nearly always happened. If you look historically, both at uh, declines of uh, several percent or increases of several percent, you usually have uh, a major pullback. You can see it basically everywhere. So, so expect uh, this market to pull back a little bit, but this is not a market that you should short because as long as you have the weather conditions in the United States uh, with extreme uh, uh, heat, and now we're basically coming into the winter months, we'll basically experience extreme cold, you could expect this market to go much higher. 
Uh, at the moment, the next major resistance is basically at this level here, which is at uh, uh, 2.9. After that, we will go to this level at 3, and then we'll go to 3.29. And beyond that, you can basically see what can happen if weather conditions get um, really bad. So this was basically the winter months. This was in uh, in uh, in November of 2018 when uh, we had extreme cold weather conditions in the United States. So we can basically explode really rapidly to the upside, but also after that we basically have a massive decline. Um, at this point, I do expect this to fall a little bit further down to towards the 50 moving average before continuing upwards. Um, technical indicators are fairly uh, bullish. MACD has just crossed the signal line. Uh, Stochastic is basically part of an upward momentum. However, the RSI is struggling at the moment. We're not oversold, we're not overbought. I would not enter this market for a buying uh for a for a buy position at the moment that is way too risky if you want to enter the market you basically have to wait until it goes lower uh, in order to bounce from the 50 moving average or uh, from if you can look at uh, take a fibonacci retracement here if it gets down to this level out to 2.6 or 2.59 or in best case scenario at 2.253 then it should basically bounce to the upside. At the moment, this is not. This is too risky to enter for a buy at the moment, and selling this is just stupid. So, um, looking at copper. So, copper has found resistance underneath um, the uh, uh, fifty moving average. Fifty moving average has been major, major. Uh, uh, sorry, support has been major support for a very long time now, and still it is looking like it is holding. Uh, even though the US dollar is uh, appreciating, that would that is putting pressure on, the, on, on most commodities and precious metals. Um, however, copper is very resilient and um, the 50 moving average is holding. So I do expect if when the US dollar starts depreciating again, which I expect it to do within one or two weeks. This will basically explode to the upside. So, yes, probably um, uh, I was considering uh, buying into this market. Uh, but the reason why I don't do that is because the technical indicators are fairly bearish at the moment. So it may probably be a few more trading days before we go higher from here. You just see the in the stochastic it is looking really bearish the same goes for the macd there will probably be several days before we cross the signal line to the upside um, and so on so uh, i'm kind of waiting for that however this um, at the moment the 50 moving average is holding if this were to break we have the 200 moving average right underneath there which has uh, also been quite resilient you can uh, see it here or supportive uh, so Yes, um, if the, the, the US dollar basically uh, starts to devalue again, uh, or uh, then uh, depreciate, and I would basically be a buyer for this market. Uh, looking at gold. So gold is just hovering around this same area here uh, at around 1853. Uh, and going up to 1573 uh, and at the moment it is at 800 and uh, 1866 I do expect this market to go lower I uh, think that it will basically go all the way down to 1800 in worst case scenario all the way down to the 200 moving average before we bounce if we look at the weekly chart you can see we just had the crossing here uh, of a bearish crossing of the um, of the MACD, and that is not a good sign. Um, uh, that is basically a very terrible sign. The same goes for the stochastic and the RSI. All of these indicators are uh, are screaming that this market basically will go lower. 
And this mostly coincides with the, the uh, appreciation of the uh, US dollar at the moment. In the long run, this market will definitely go lower, higher. As long as the Fed is pumping liquidity in, in, into the, the market uh, and, and so uh, all other central banks as well, this market will go higher. So buying it as low as possible is uh, the way forward. Um, I don't expect this market to, it may, be, may rally a little bit and then go down. That may happen. Uh, but I do expect this market to go lower than this because I don't expect the US dollar to start depreciating uh, the next uh, or substantially the next uh, one or two weeks. Um, yes, look at silver. This is almost the same case. We broke down quite substantially from the, from this uh, from this triangle. And at the moment, we are just hovering around this same area here. Um, the indicators are similar to, to gold. They are fairly negative, especially the, uh, the MACD. Uh, if you look at the, at, the, at the weekly, we see that we are about to cross this, uh, this signal line indicating bearish momentum, meaning that we probably go even lower from here. Uh, a good bet would be the 50 moving average. Uh, underneath that, we have the 200 moving average. I don't expect us to go all the way down there. Um, however, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we are around the first Fibonacci retracement at 38.2. The next one is at 50. That is $20.69. Uh, uh, and that would be my best guess where we're technically going the next uh, next week or two before we technically go up to the upside. Um, no interest in basically shorting this market. Um, similar to gold, uh, in the long run, this market will go higher. So if you look at Cocoa, sorry, there we go. So we did have a, a big pullback. If you look at uh, the daily, we had uh, quite a big pullback, which technically was expected. I do expect this market to, to go and retest the uh, 250 moving average before we go higher. Um, at the moment, we're in no man's land. We can see that we are, uh, the highs of this market at the moment are around 2.7, and the lows are down 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. So we're straight right in the middle. So entering this market at the moment is not a good idea. You should wait until we get to this uh, line here. If you get rejected, that means that we have a shorting possibility down to the 50 moving average or the 200 moving average. And if we break this line, then we will go much higher. Uh, we'll go all the way up to 2.8. And if that breaks, we'll go all the way to 2.9. So at the moment, we're in no man's land and uh, is technically gambling entering this market at the moment. The technical indicators are also all over the place. MACD is pointing to downward momentum. The uh, stochastic is, uh, is basically indicating that we're crossing the signal line, probably going to upward momentum. So at this moment, just wait. There's no reason to enter this market at the moment. Just uh, wait and see what technically happened. If it goes down to, the, to this level, that is a buying opportunity. It goes up to this level and breaks through. That's also buying opportunity. If it gets rejected here, then that uh, is a short-term uh, selling uh, opportunity. So, platinum. We can see that we rallied up towards the 200 moving average, and then we got rejected. Um, however, the technical indicators for platinum, especially the uh, stochastic is about to cross the signal line. MACD is quite negative. We're quite far away from the signal line. So we may stay within this area for uh, a few more days uh, before we go uh, to the upside again. I, there's just too much support within this area here and this area here. If it were to fall even further, then, then that's even better entry for, for long. I don't expect us to get through this area. Just see how resilient this area was and this area here and so on. So long term run, I do expect this market to go higher. Um, 
the res nearest resistant, of course, is the 200 moving average. Next one is the 50 moving average. And then we have these uh, highs here uh, at, uh, at 1 and also at 1000 and also at 978. Um, I would I would like to see basically a candlestick above this 200 moving average in order to enter this market. Um, yeah, so we look at sugar. We see we have rallied quite nicely here. We are getting at the top of this range. Uh, if you look here, this area should be uh, resistant. So when we get closer down, you should probably have a pullback. If we break through, then we'll go to this level here, which is around 0.30. Uh, 1370 and if that breaks then we'll go to this area here which is uh, quite a lot of resistance in within that area um, probably give it one more time if we get rejected here we'll go down to the 50 moving average uh, the lows underneath the 50 moving average is uh, 0 0.1171 um, this entire area here should be a significant support so uh, this entire area should be significant support. So, so don't expect this market to crash, similar to uh, what happened in February, March, and so on. We need a basically a uh, um, um, shutdown of the basically world economy in order to get this same price action here. I think the a, a grind to the upside would be uh, what is expected. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement here, we can see. Uh, we're exactly at the uh, uh, 61.8 is this area here. So if this breaks, then of course we go much higher. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking the subscribe button and the like button. And of course the bell button if you want to see our newest video when they come out. So good weekend and thank you very much.